Okay, here we are in Austin, Texas. Um, it's July 10th, 2015. We are looking for the Necropolis of Britannia Manor Cash. Um, I'm Jeff Row 11. Carol and Hannah. So here we are. We're at the South Pole for the first part of the find. So uh, here we go. First part of the cash, and uh, we're about to find it right away. Let's do this. Okay, the first stage has us going up. Uh, we got to go up here and uh, find this uh, the first waypoint of the cache and we're like 27 feet from it. So, and go there's up this. a code once we get to a gate, but we've already got that code. So. Yeah, so Let's here go. we go. Let's go up. Mm -hmm. Stay to the left of the fence. House is huge. That's got to be his house. The uh, the owner of this cache actually was a uh, guy who made his living. He was a he was in like in the IT profession in the 80s, and um, he made his uh, money uh, doing the IT and gaming industry. So, uh, all right, here we go. So, we're going out here and we're trying to we'll park down here and uh, all right okay here we go so we're coming up gotta come up to the uh, there's a gate over here that we got to put a code in uh, there's a solar panel so here we are before we found the waypoint. Waypoint took us out over here to this gate. There's a lantern. Yep. Please, that's okay, well, it's a hand bone. One, two, three, four, so we're nowhere on the right path. Some solar lights out here that keep, just in case you come out here at night. There's some little, some skulls or something. So, Pretty cool. If I'm not mistaken, I believe they have a haunted house out here or something like that. Here we go. Coming up on some clues around here. We are by here. Let's see. It's marking around here. And uh, some barbed wire. And I believe this is gonna be the first clue. Got some skeletons over here, and uh, it's pretty cool. We got Mardi Gras beads on. I guess they went to New Orleans, had a good time, and came out here and just party too hard and got stuck in this uh, fence or something. <coughs> they didn't survive the party. Nope. Hopefully we will. <laughs> I'm already feeling a little hot out here today. Okay, continuing on. Here we go. And Hannah has found the first clue up here. And we're about to find out what it is. Okay. Got some, got some coffins. Got some coffins over here. The first clue is that we've got to uh, open this coffin. So here we go. Oh my god! I've already seen what's in there, you idiot. Oh, there it is. Oh, my oh god. there's a mouse in there, right. wasp. Oh my god, oh my god, there's red wasp. Get away, get away, get away. Oh my god. Okay, oh my god! Awesome. Seriously, you're not listening to me. I don't care. Okay, we retrieved the first clue from this coffin over here, so we know the uh, the name of the person that was there. So now we're gonna proceed to the uh, next step into this cache, until so we can find the actual cache. Uh, walk along the woods. Looks like we're coming up on something over here. Oh, it looks like a little baby grave right here. Uh, a baby grave over there? <laughs> yeah, there's a little baby grave. All right, now we are coming up on this gate. Let's see. 
I'm not sure if this is the second clue or not, but, but, uh, all right. This would definitely be cool to come out here during Halloween. May just have to come out here again. Okay. Hopefully the second clue is about to come up. eternity felled by the serpent fang she was in the deep shadows of these woods darkness stole the light from our lives see which if you look at the details that's the first letter Okay, we're coming up with another clue here. Um, it's a gray stone. Oh, Mobile, Alabama. Born in Mobile, Alabama. Died in Austin, Texas. In memory of Augustus B.F. Porter. Uh, born December 7th, 1858. You might want to keep that as a clue. Died November 21, 1878. And then EMP Paul Nell, I guess. Born October 2nd, 1836. Died October 9th, 1890. That's just a little baby, so I'm thinking this looks like this is the second part. Um, born December 7th, 1858, died in Austin, Texas, November 21, 1878. That's going to be the clue, and it's got number two on there, so that's got to be the second part of the uh, quiz. Okay, here we are. Uh, we're trying to find the lot that we need to find. So we're looking around here. We're not going to give what lot it is because we don't want to give away all the secrets but uh we're around here looking for the lot we need to find and number and look at that bad boy right there hmm. so let's see i'm guessing you can step inside this thing oh ah, because i know one of the clues is something about a time capsule oh so we've got to know we actually know the we actually know the numbers to get in here so don't show it on camera oh. so we're gonna do it Okay, now we're in, and we have got to find something in here that is going to be a clue. And actually, we've got a quarter here. Feel me, I'm going to put a quarter in. And uh, we got to put our quarter in this machine so we can oh, get the door open. Put our quarter in this machine. And see what we get out of it. I'm guessing it goes here. Let's see. I guess it does go here if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Okay. It dropped out. And here's what we have. Made our little quarter. Yours came out good. Cause it says something about Britannia uh, Manor Mark Three. Oh, okay. It's just it, it does the cash. The name of the cash is like a souvenir keepsake. So that's pretty cool, actually. So okay, well we got our little coin. Now I'm guessing we're going to have to find another. I want my coin. Did it take one or did you have to put a few? I'll put one in there so we can put another one in for you. Here we go. Put put this quarter in there. And uh, make your coin. Here we go. Do I put it upside down? Or it doesn't matter. Just put it in there and crank it in there. Like that? Yep. How's it? It's not going. Go the other way. Oh, there you go. Never mind. Just got to wind it. Got to use some... Use some force. Okay, now it dropped on the bottom. There you go, you got your keepsake coin. That's really cool. 
Now this is something definitely you want to keep for your geocache collection. Um. So, okay. And that's what they call this is a time capsule. So I, we've got to leave something behind, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely drop something in there. What should I leave behind? Whatever you think you can. I mean, at least something that's, that's kind of goes with the theme, you know? Okay, now, after looking in here, you know, we got our souvenir. Uh, Hannah, there's a box right there. What's in that chest? Can I just point this out? This is yes. Cowtown John's. Okay. Cowtown John is the guy in Fort Worth that uh, helped That's us. He told us it. about this cache. So let's check, see what's in it. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Voila. And I found my first tag, and it's a butterfly. Hannah found her first tag. Look at that. Her first geotag. Her first uh, travel trackable, bug. trackable travel bug. Oh, uh, but where's the little? See the little um the log look in that other is log is this it maybe? that's it right there that's the log <gasps> holy crap <laughs> we can let's leave we have to leave a message of, of our, course we're gonna leave trip. a message you got your pen oh hold on there's pens in here do you would well, you want to try did you want a travel bug yes i do if give I me that one i'll take that one that's it's not a travel bug but... Babe, there might be this thing. There's a lot of stuff in there. Okay, let's just go ahead and sound this log and then we'll just pick something out. As a travel I'm definitely bug. leaving um, that little golden thing that I have to leave in here, but I do want to leave. Um, look, Indiana Jones. Oh, no way. Yeah, it's a little pin. Okay, I see some pins over there by you. Let's go ahead and sound this travel log this book and uh, we will conclude our little story here All right, good I, deal that'll work and I'm we're gonna going take to put this as my leaf behind is that good that's good that's good all right well that's it this was uh this is the uh Oklahoma there you go Oklahoma put Alabama down there too Alabama Emma loves y'all. Cool. And this is Britannia Manor, Manor, Britannia Manor Cash Three. And we, we found it. Freaking did it. <laughs> this is a really cool cash. This is one for the books. See that sweat dripping down my face? It is very hot out here. This is one for the books, y'all. This is like one you of the best definitely finds. definitely have to find it. Definitely got to find this. And wait, wait. Austin, Here's Texas. Here's our coin. There's the coin from space. Oh, yes. That is the coin from space. That is so cool. This is one that was actually around the world several times in the uh, space station. And I got to log it in. Very cool. We'll definitely be taking you pictures of this. You got to log it and you actually found it. So you know what? Go you. Awesome, this is just too cool. What do you want? Look, there's magnets. Too cool. Are you going to look in here for something? Okay, there we go. Then, see you guys later. I'm leaving this behind for mine. Jeff Roll 11 out. Carol and Hannah out. See you guys. These are the gifts. <laughs> okay, Carol and Hannah is going to read the facts, the interesting facts about this coin. Go ahead, Look Hannah. at my geo bag, though. Look at it. Look okay. at it. Okay. Got it. All here right. Go. This coin has traveled 202 orbits, 5,296,842 miles. Astrologable first geocoin in orbit, February 7, 2008. So this is the first coin ever and the only coin to ever go to space and go in orbit. Now how many miles did it travel? It went 5,296,842 5, miles. Wow. Traveled. That's so cool. I'm so glad we found this. So we can mark this one off. And uh, on to the next adventure. About, headed back to uh, Fort Worth. Ew, I got some 